Welcome to part one of the Geofence setup video series. Geofencing is a component of the UKG mobile app and is required to be set up prior to employees using the app to punch in and out of Kronos. The benefit that a Geofence brings to your business is that it ensures that your employees are on site when they punch. This is a two part video series that will take you through the steps of setting up your Geofence so you can begin using UKG mobile with your employees. In this video, we'll show you how to start the process off by completing the online setup request form. So what is a Geofence? A Geofence creates a circular area where employees may punch. The Geofence interacts with the GPS components in your employees' cell phones and the UKG mobile app to allow punching. The purpose of this virtual border is to ensure that your employees are at the location you want them to be at when they punch in on their phones. A geofence is a tool to help you guide your employees to make the right choice, to punch in at their work location and not from the comfort of their homes. Understand, human beings are very adaptable, intelligent creatures, and a geofence is not infallible. So trust, but verify. Setting up a geofence is required if your employees are going to punch in using their phones. If your team's not going to use their phones to punch, then you don't need a geofence. There are six steps in the geofence configuration process. The good news for you is most of these steps happen behind the scenes on the Corona side. From the perspective of someone that is requesting a geofence, or you, your big steps are number one, completing the online request form, number four, launching the coordinates app from MySedexo, and number five, capturing the coordinates for the fence. It's important for you to understand this entire process takes a minimum of three days. This time is needed for the Chrono system to update itself with your geofence data. This video will walk us through step one, how to request your geofence for your cost center or work locations. You'll see terms in the geofence setup process that can be confusing. In the first setup step, you'll be prompted to select either a cost center or work site to mobile enable. When we're configuring a geofence, the term worksite refers to multiple physical locations within your cost center or account where you'd like your employees to be able to punch using the mobile app. It's important to understand that a mobile enabled worksite could be different than a worksite you're using for scheduling. If you want to have your employees use the mobile app to punch in at one location or just one building, then you'd select cost center to mobile enable. If you have multiple buildings or work locations, like at a university or hospital or school district, and you want your employees to be able to use the mobile app at all of these locations, then you would select Worksite to Mobile Enable. To help you decide which to use, reflect on where and how your employees work throughout their shifts. Are they in one building all day? If so, selecting a single cost center to Mobile Enable will work perfectly. On the other hand, if you have employees that start off in Building 1, and midday move to building two, and then end their day in building three, then you'd want three work sites, one work site for each building. You would mobile enable all of these work sites to include all of the buildings, so your folks could be able to use a mobile app to punch in and out. So let's look at how you set up both examples. The first example will walk us through requesting a geofence for a single cost center or location. Log in to MySidXO to access the Kronos worksite and mobile setup information. Once you enter in your credentials, you'll be taken to the home page of the portal. From the Enterprise Portal applications, look for Kronos worksite and mobile setup. Once you're into the application, select the worksite and mobile setup request form. Start to populate the request information. First start with the main loc. You can search by the name of the main loc or the unit number. From here, select the main loc that you want to work with. The next step will be to select the cost center. Then you want to determine whether or not you want to mobile enable at the worksite level or the cost center. For this example, we're going to mobile enable the cost center. I'm going to select no from the dropdown for worksite needed and I'm going to select Yes to mobile enable the cost center. Once completed, click Submit. Once submitted, your form will be in a submitted status, ready to be picked up by the service desk to complete. 
Demo number two will take us through requesting a geofence for work sites for multiple locations. Remember that when you have multiple locations, you'll need to set up mobile enabled work sites. In this example, we'll set up two work sites. Log in to MySetXO. Once you're logged in, you'll be brought to the home page of the Enterprise Portal. From under the Enterprise Portal application, select the Kronos Worksite and Mobile Setup. Now select the Worksite and Mobile Setup request form. In this example, we're going to mobile enable at the Worksite or Work Location level. First, select the main loc that you'd like to work with. You can start typing in the main loc name, or you could also type in the main loc number. Now you want to select the cost center that you want to work with. In this example, there's only one presented, which we're going to select. The next step is going to be determined whether or not you need a work site or work location. You can enter as many as are going to be needed. We want to select yes. Now we want to select add a work site. From here, we're going to give the work site or work location a description. And we do want to mobile enable it. I'm going to add one more work site or work location to mobile enable. Type in the description. Mobile enable it, and you're complete with your setup. At this point, we want to submit the form. Once the form has been submitted, it's in a submitted state, ready for the service desk to pick up and complete the request within Kronos. After you submit your request form, the Kronos service desk then has two days to process your request, and they may reach out to you if you have questions. When they've completed their work, they'll close the ticket and you'll receive an email message. At this point, you'll be ready to launch the survey app and capture your geofence coordinates. We'll cover that in part two of the geofence setup process. Thank you for watching part one of the geofence setup process. For more information, email the Chrono Service Desk or reach out to your district labor champion. Thanks. Have a good day.